Or Portland Public Schools has appointed an interim superintendent experienced in leading a large Oregon school district. For eight years, she led the Salem Kaiser School District. Our Thomas Schultz joins us now. So, Thomas, what are students hoping to see from this new leadership? Well, Brittany, high schoolers I spoke with want to see relationships mended with staff and families after the first ever Portland Public Schools teacher strike back in November. And they want deals made soon for staff like teachers assistants still looking for a new contract. I'm hoping to see transparency, honesty, connection with students, staff. More than a month after Portland Public Schools first teacher strike, students remain focused on contract negotiations for other staff like paraeducators and librarian assistants. I think we see sometimes, you know, our staff members being stressed out with so many caseloads and, you know, serving so many students. And I think just sort of being relieved with an actual contract would be very beneficial. At the helm will be new interim superintendent Dr. Sandy Husk, who was appointed to the role Thursday. Husk previously led Salem Kaiser Schools from 2006 to 2014. She'll take over now from Guadalupe Guerrero, who will step down on February 16th. You know, she's a superintendent who was very focused on advancing student achievement, getting more equitable outcomes for students. School board member Julia Brim Edwards led the hiring process. She says Husk was an appealing candidate for various reasons. She's already led a large school district, raised student achievement, and... She's been in a district that has had to make um, very difficult cuts. And after reaching a deal with its teachers, Portland Public says budget cuts are inevitable. And we knew we needed an experienced leader. A leader who will be tasked with regaining community trust after the contentious strike. She's very much somebody who um, brings people into the room and into the conversation. Something the district and its students want to see. We just came off, you know, a pretty big strike that was very historic. And I think it would be great to, for her to, you know, remend those relationships. Now, Husk will be tasked with running the day-to-day -day operations of the district, and she'll be paid a bit less than $140,000 to do so until June 30th. By then, Brittany, the school board plans to have a permanent superintendent in place.